So here we're going to determine what the resonant frequency of the piezo is. So we'll start by actually displaying the frequency as we rotate the knob. So let's copy this code and paste it and then change this variable name to freak like so. And we'll get rid of the LN so that now it prints the sensor value, space, and then a position, then a space, and then the frequency. So let's uh, let's try that. Okay, so now our code should be running. So let's take a look at those messages. And if you remember, we just click on the serial monitor here. And you can see our three variables are being printed. If I change the knob. So this last number here is the frequency. So it looks like it's about 360 hertz. Okay, I think we just passed the peak. Right around there. Okay, so that's pretty loud, but I think that about two and a half K, two and a half kilohertz is our resonant frequency. So let's turn that off. So uh, the other thing we can do, which will be kind of fun, if you don't have an oscilloscope, is I'll hook an oscilloscope up to this and we can see what that signal looks like. So let's zoom in on this circuit we have now. I've, I've attached an oscilloscope probe uh, right here to pin three of the piezo because remember pin two we're driving low and then of course I have to connect ground also so there's a ground next to the switch right there that I've attached to the ground lead of the oscilloscope probe so now let's get a look at the oscilloscope when we're twisting the knob so now we can see the oscilloscope screen and I've only got the bottom trace on there so, as you can see, as I increase the frequency, you can see that the bottom signal has a square wave on it, which is increasing. And I think that was our resonant frequency. Let's go back to see what it, yeah, about, about 25, uh, 2.5 kilohertz. So again, let's go back to the screen. And the oscilloscope has a feature where it can actually measure the frequency. So let me try that. And as you can see, uh, right here is channel one frequency. And it's actually measuring that square wave. See, as I change it, it changes. So somewhere in there, I think, would be our resonant frequency. All right, let's... Uh, Let's turn that off. Okay, there you have it.